Hello everyone. This is a video about this soundbar, which is Samsung HW-E350. This soundbar soundbar is old, is I think is about 2012, and I got it uh, off eBay as a broken part and uh, it was a, a good project just for this for the purpose of this video and uh, after checking it is a very good soundbar the only thing that is lacking is the Bluetooth that is no problem at all and I tell you why and I have ordered already a part that is making this soundbar to a Bluetooth capable device which is very handy as this item has the USB uh, memory stick reader so I have ordered a USB uh, Bluetooth device that is connects to the USB uh, reader and it turns this unit to a Bluetooth device. Let's read what is on the box. This is uh, called Crystal Surround Air Track and it has surround, air track, and sound plus. A complete 3D experience with 3D depth processing, virtual surround, and then HDMI arc, audio return channel, and then connect share, which is for the USB reader, and then it's been rated for 120 watt total RMS Dolby Digital DTS 2.0 channel and then AnyNet Plus and HDMI so this is the unit uh, the box of the unit I get everything out and we are going to talk about this further so I didn't tell you anything about the price of this unit. This unit came in a box with all the accessories, everything included instead of the remote. So that was a good deal. And from here, first is the remote that I have purchased it for eight ninety nine is for the higher model which is more user friendly and then the cables and then 3.5 millimeter jack and then another cable with 3.5 millimeters jack and then USB cable the bracket the bracket itself it goes on eBay from 7 to 12 pounds and then these are the ferrites for the cables connections for the HDMI and the 3.5 millimeter cable and then the manual and the warranty so this is the front of the unit if you can see it has assumably four speakers at the front and one subwoofer at the top so let's talk about these four speakers at the front these two this one is a dummy speaker just for a static and then here as well so don't expect much from these two but those two alone the active speakers on each side they are giving you enough 
quality uh, music uh, for listening purposes. And then it comes to the subwoofer. This is a very active subwoofer. Sometimes it is vibrating up to here. And then around the back it has airflow here and on the other side it has all the connections I just pause I get my torch and I show you what is it there so here we have HDMI out, HDMI in, aux, and in here we have all the controls, the power, the power here, and then the function or source, and then volume up and down, and then USB, USB reader, which I told you. Now uh, I have ordered a Bluetooth USB uh, receiver for especially for this and the power is on already uh, uh, provided by the device 5 volts so every time that you turn this unit on your Bluetooth device is on as well and if you go to USB you have a Bluetooth capable device. Now that we know everything that it was included in the box, let's turn this unit on and see what it is capable of. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use my Samsung Bluetooth send and receiver connecting it to the aux and using this remote control let me just show you this remote control why is better than the uh, remote control of this unit itself uh, all the main operating keys are here for this unit while the remote control of this unit itself all the main units were up here and all of this was dedicated for the TV and when you are holding this into your hand these are the main keys that you are gonna use so it's better all of this to be for the unit itself rather than the TV and I connect the Bluetooth Samsung level link to the unit and then we play a song and then we wrap this video okay now everything is connected and we are going to talk about this unit it has this remote control and you see if it's going out of focus very easily and it has the source let's look at this the source is every time you press it HDMI USB arc and an aux and then it has the 3D surround, one low, one high, and one off. So we are going to high. And then we have DRC, which is uh, Dolby. We have Dolby minimum. Dolby Standard and Dolby Max 
and then we have the subwoofer subwoofer 6 plus maximum and then we have up to minus 6 so we are going for the purpose of this video we are going to plus 6 to see what this unit is capable of and then it has a dimmer which dims the display and dimmer off and then we have some other functions on this remote that is for TV these are all for TV and these are all for the USB uh, memory stick that if you connect the USB Bluetooth receiver that I have purchased for this with all of this you can control the player if you play a song from your mobile phone you can stop pause play forward rewind and so on it has many other functions but it's not relevant here and it has a source and everything a speaker that you are if you have a Samsung TV you can choose to play the speakers of the TV or the soundbar and then you can uh, somehow uh, operate your TV totally from here just the main functions of your TV you can connect it and you know operate it but if you don't have a Samsung TV you're out of luck now let's play a song This is a effects, sound effects, music. News, I don't know who is listening to the news sound effect. Drama. Cinema. This is the most bass that you can get out of this and is impressive let me tell you that and then the sports game and off and of this video and I fully recommend this uh, item second hand or brand new uh, and you can overcome the lack of Bluetooth very easily by purchasing that item that I'm going to make a video uh, I think uh, uh, in two days or three days come to come and somehow uh, I don't know when this unit is going to come but definitely I'm going to show you this unit because I couldn't find many videos in English in regards to this Bluetooth uh, USB 
receiver. Anyhow, this <laughs> was a very long video about this Samsung uh, HW E350, and there are loads of you know scratches, and you know, but you can forgive those for five quids. I bought this unit only for five quid because it was for parts and they thought it was broken and the reason that they thought is it was broken it was because they lost the remote and they had to hold the power button for two seconds not just press it once and then there was some problem with the auxiliary jack uh, which the soldering inside was a little bit dry and they have broken it because they pushed the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack too hard and then I resoldered that and it it works fine right now and it's I can sell this but it's so good that I'm going to keep it anyhow thanks for your watching and until my next video take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time